K2 applications consist of four main components, those being data, forms, workflows, and reports. We have developed the exercises in this tutorial with the intention of giving you an entry-level understanding of the data, forms, and workflow components by taking you step-by-step -step through the process of building a simple leave request application in K2 using K2 Designer. The leave request application in this tutorial is designed with the basics in mind, designating a starting point for you to then expand upon to implement your own business requirements. The great thing about this is, at the end of the tutorial, you will have a functional application ready for use. Leading into the design of the application, I want to take a moment to discuss what we mean by data, forms, workflows, and reports for a K2 application. Data represents information that could reside in a variety of sources, including SharePoint lists, Active Directory, SQL Server, CRM systems, SAP, and countless other systems. K2 interacts with these data sources primarily through a technology called Smart Objects. Smart Objects are the connections made to the data sources and they expose properties and methods that are returned through those connections. Forms represent the user interfaces that people use to capture and view information and potentially start a workflow or complete tasks during a workflow. For this application, we will use a technology called Smart Forms which will allow you to easily create user interfaces incorporating smart objects, controls, rules, and workflow integration. Keep in mind that with K2, you can also use other forms technologies such as native SharePoint forms, custom web-based forms, and InfoPath amongst others. You are not limited to only smart forms. Workflows provide the mechanism for moving data along in a logical sequence of events and tasks that involve both human and computer system interaction with your forms. They handle simple or complex task routing, process looping, escalation, and notifications. Reports are automatically available through the standard K2 Reports page and can also use K2 Workspace as a reporting tool for K2 applications. You can also create dashboard style reports with reusable reporting controls for custom smart form based reports found in K2 Designer. However, to move this tutorial along, we will not be including the reporting component as part of the exercises. Every organization that employs individuals will have a need to track and process leave requests from their employees throughout any given year. Thus, another common application to implement with K2 early on is a leave request processing system. Typically, we begin designing a new application by scoping out the workflow as a flowchart either by drawing it out by hand on a piece of paper or laying it out electronically in a tool such as Visio. This gives us an overview of what we are trying to accomplish, gets all the stakeholders on the same page, and is also helpful in determining where our forms and data will come into play. Once we have our forms laid out and know what kind of data we need to collect, we can better answer the following questions. Do we need to create a new data source to store our form content? And are there form fields that can be populated from data sources already in existence? To begin, this flowchart represents a swim lane format of our leave request workflow, where we have separated the user tasks and system tasks into separate swim lanes for clarity. We have two swim lanes for user tasks, the first represents the form originator, or the person submitting the leave request for the first time. The second lane represents the approver. In our scenario, this will be the form originator's current manager. And then finally, the third lane represents system tasks, or tasks that the K2 system will manage behind the scenes such as updating records in the data source or sending email notifications through the workflow. At a high level, the leave request originator will fill out the leave request form supplied with start and end dates and a leave type. Then upon form submittal, the K2 workflow will begin with the K2 system updating the leave request record with the status of submitted in the data source. Then it will assign an approval task to the originator's manager. The manager will open the leave request approval form at this point for review and either approve or reject the request. Upon completion of the approval decision, the K2 system will update the leave request data record status column with either a status of approved or rejected, then the workflow will complete. Let's take a look at the form design now. In K2 terms, a form is a container for views and controls. 
A single form may contain multiple views in which a view is simply a section of a form. Views contain the actual fields and labels that make up the user interface, and in this exercise we will create two views and will only need one form to contain them for this scenario. We will use the form to handle new leave request submissions as well as the leave request approval step in the workflow. This particular form will have an item view with text, date, label, and button controls for displaying or submitting leave requests. It will also contain a list view showing the current user's previously submitted leave requests. The employee name and email fields will auto-populate based on the currently logged in user, and the form will use date picker controls to help the user pick the start and end dates. We will also predefine the leave types available and present them in a drop-down list control. The list view at the bottom of the form will show all previously submitted leave requests for the currently logged in user as well as their statuses. We will discuss the multiple states this form can take later on in the demonstration and build of the application, but know that it will be configured to handle leave request submissions and the manager's approval user task from the workflow. In looking at the design and fields here in the item view, we will be able to design the structure of our data source for this application fairly easily. We will need text fields to handle the leave request title, employee name, employee email, leave type, and request status. We will also need date columns to handle the start and end dates for the leave request. Then finally with the request or comments, we will need one memo field. Now we can look at our data source. We will build this data source using a K2 SmartBox based smart object in K2 Designer. Now SmartBox allows you to create your own data source, which is essentially a SQL database table created by K2 to manage your data if you do not already have a data source available in another location. You do have the ability to specify the column names and data types here, and K2 creates the table in the K2 database on a SQL server. With our basic design laid out for us here, we are now ready to move on and build the leave request application. However, you may want to review the demonstration video of the application first, just to get an idea of how it works before you jump into the build video.